Hey, what's up, Cool Like That peeps? It is me, your Cool Like That Asian in the house. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I have to make my, my opening a little more exciting, people. Make it more inviting. <laughs> um, hopefully, you guys are having a great end of the week. I know I am because I'm, I'm excited for, to have a weekend, finally. Um, it's been a long week, people. A long, long training week. Long week. So... Yeah, hope um, so. Hopefully, you guys are doing something great on the weekend. But today, I actually um, have to do a fitness video, and I almost totally forgot to do it because uh, I'm here in the hotel. I kind of for forgot to just sit down and just make a video. So I wanted to make a video, and th it was a good per a good segue into the video because somebody actually mentioned this today at work and said that really on tr uh, on business trips, I can't eat um, healthy because. Um, there's no kitchen or anything like that or there's no there um, I have to eat at restaurants and I kind of kind of laughed because I watched a video a couple maybe about a, a couple months ago um, regarding um, and it, the video was by JD Cav 24 if you guys haven't seen him he's, he's a great great mentor um, regarding fitness and everything like that if you guys are into fitness or anything like that he, he works for the um, he's the creator of the athlete X and he made a video. Um, he took us on an excursion um, to these uh, to a restaurant. And I believe it was Cheesecake Factory to cho uh, to help us understand and choose the right types of food when we're going to a restaurant or eating out or having to be stuck in a <coughs> in a hotel for um, several days. So he kind of took us on that journey, and I I really appreciate that because now I follow that and I get into my head that. Um, that I can choose the foods that I eat. There's a big difference, people. There's a big difference when you you say you can and cannot. Um, a lot of people say they cannot eat healthy because they're on the road. They cannot eat healthy because they don't have a kitchen. They cannot eat healthy because they're they're at a restaurant with their friends. There's a difference between can cannot and choose not to. And most of the time, you're choosing not to. You can control all your foods that you eat you can people you can now he gave a perfect perfect um, four step process of things to look for when you're you're choosing anything on a menu or you're trying to get something to eat you know and I follow it to a T now um, tr well not follow it to a T because there's those days where I, I kind of backslide a little bit but I follow it as best I can to um, so it helps me you know it put makes me responsible for myself and I don't blame every other person um, regarding why I feel bad about myself you know sometimes um, and I've gotten healthier by listening to that and I, I want to if um, JD Cab ever sees this video want to thank him for that um, he mentions that eating lean protein uh, like stay um, eat more lean protein that's what I was trying to say. Eat lean, leaner protein like um, chicken, uh, fish, uh, anything like that, or even steak. But um, stay away from stuff that is like a fattier t steaks that are, are marbled with fat, uh, fried chicken, um, beer battered fish, or anything like that. Stay away from those, or even cream sauces. Um, stay away from those uh, when you go to a restaurant. And a lot of restaurants tend to fill their, their menus with that. And then uh, next, what you're going to do is um, get something uh, that is prepared healthier, healthierly, uh, meaning that it's not um, battered or anything like that. And you want to get some stuff that uh, ha has grilled, uh, has a good sear or um, char boiled, broiled or anything like that. You want to try to stick to those. Now the key words that you're gonna to have to look for is crispy fried and battered usually you want to try to stay away from those type of things because it's filled with flour filled with um, with with um, oil you want to stay away from those okay and <coughs> so because a lot of people tend to go because it's good let me tell you people fried chicken is good I love fried chicken those are good but if you're trying to lean down or you're trying to eat healthier, you cannot be eating those things. So you have to have to pick things that are going to be healthy for your diet. 
okay? You can do it. You, if you choose not to do it, it's because it's you. You can do it, all right? Most restaurants, most, most places have a healthier choice to their menu, all right? Um, the next thing is you want to try to fill your plate um, with fibrous carbohydrates, meaning uh, broccoli, asparagus, uh, carrots, anything like that. Any of the hard, crunchy, crunchy uh, vegetables that you um, that you like to eat when you were a kid, you want to try to eat that more often and put it on your plate. Now. Uh, a lot of people, um, the, se the fourth thing is starchy carbs. Don't be afraid to eat starchy carbs. A lot of people are afraid of that. And um, to build muscle or anything like that, you do have to uh, eat more more carbs. To um, When you're exercising, you want to eat more carbs so you can recover better. Don't be afraid of eating starchy carbs. Okay? So those are the four things he mentioned. And I... I take that um, as my Bible now when I go out to eat a lot more I try to eat that even going to Jack in the Box today I ate Jack in the Box people um, I went for the grilled uh, chicken strips instead of the fried chicken strips all right even though I ate my car carb source was um, curly fries you know you, you're able to cheat a little bit but not full on you know what I mean so you want to try to do that. So um, on this trip here at Two Dallas, I actually have to eat out a lot because I don't have a kitchen or anything like that. I have to eat out a lot. But now I've actually my diet has um, stayed pretty much the same. I eat a breakfast, more cereal. Uh, for lunch, I try to take, um, I try to order and then take it to work. But I have to order stuff that's uh, um, that is healthy. You know, so when you go and look at a, uh, at a, let's just go ahead and choose one here. Okay, and he showed this in a video too, which was great. You have all of these, right? Okay, all of these, these foods right here. All right, most of the time people tend to go for like orange chicken, but if you guys remember, orange chicken is like a, like a um, fried. So you want to stay away from that. Sweet and sour chicken sometimes is fried. So you want to eat, do stuff that are sautéed, like beef, um, broccoli chicken. Uh, what else? Green bean chicken. You want to stay stick to those, okay? Like a lot of people tend to go for appetizers, and appetizers, as you guys can see, is egg rolls, ragoon, chicken sticks, fried shrimp, and. Choosing from this, you most of it all, is all fried except for the. Oh, you even have a fried chicken wing here. Oh, I love chicken. But um, you have the steamed dumplings. You know, I don't even know what pot stickers are. So you have to try to look for stuff that is not fried or or in oil while, while you're cooking a lot. You know, you want to try to stick to those. A lot of people don't realize that you have have a choice and. Um, so you have a choice to do things, okay? And there's another one that I wanted to show you. It's like an Italian restaurant. Italian restaurants are kind of are famous for it. Here it is. Pastas. So if you look at the pastas, you can eat pasta. All right. You can eat pasta. All of this. But you want to try to stick to stuff that, like chicken or egg plant parmesan is fried if you guys realize that if you look at the actual um it says eggplant or breaded chicken now breaded you want to try to stay away from and the marinara sauce you have all these sauces on here so you want to try to pick stuff that is much more of a healthy uh, thing like a grilled chicken sa uh, Caesar salad um you know i'm not trying to say to stay away from these foods but if you're trying to eat healthier, okay, but you still go out and um, say, I can't eat healthy because I'm at a restaurant, then pretty much you're, you're wasting your time trying to diet, people. Get it together. <laughs> you want to eat, um, you want to choose, you have a choice. Let's just put it that way. You have a choice to eat whatever you want to eat. All right? So 
all we got to do is make a more conscious effort of what to eat when we're uh, at a restaurant when we're we're eating um, anywhere we're, we're eating at okay so that's my whole spiel just wanted to put it out there I love you guys bye <laughs>